determined event of the evening with world record holder John Walker set to accept the challenge of Britain's Stephen Ovid, Thomas Messinghager of West Germany and Steve Scott of the USA. Ovid wears 4.05 in the white vest for Europe. The clash we've all waited to see this 1500 meters betting Hager there wearing 905 205 David Hill of Canada 105 Mosley and big John Walker not wearing the all-black strip of New Zealand but wearing the yellow and black of Oceania as Steve Ovid will be wearing the white of Europe and number 405 a full start for John Walker tension already ever Number 405, Steve Ovet wearing the white vest for Europe and taking on John Walker, far right, wearing the yellow and black of Oceania, not the all-black strip that we're used to seeing the world record holding. All eyes on the start of this 1,500 metres. The East German goes quickly into a lead. Jürgen Straub settling uh, the pace down, Ovet on his inside. Then the red stripe vest of Wettinghager of West Germany. No slouching. John Walker follows him. Walker of New Zealand with Ovet third. Straub is in fourth. Then Steve Scott of America. And then Morrisley of Africa, the 19-year-old star from Algeria. Vessinghager wearing 9.05 and the red stripe across his chest. And this is a very fast pace indeed. And the European record of 3.34 could go if Vessinghager keeps this up. Walker not fighting at the challenge too hard at the moment allowing three or four meters to lapse but Wessinghager has one win over Walker this season and knows what he has to do that's an incredible time for 400 meters 56.5 and Walker goes on and picks the pace up yet again Ovid in third place matching him stride for stride on the shoulder of Wessinghager now that long raking stride, the forward lean, the long hair of this big New Zealander, over six feet tall. Full of running and looking superbly fit at the moment. Walker leads from Wessinghager, from Steve Ovid. And all the world's press asking us, is Ovid capable of beating the world record holder? Behind Ovid now, Morsley of Africa, an Algerian, and then Jürgen Straub. But the big challengers all out in front as they come up to 800 meters. 154, 155 seconds that will be. Walker, of course, the mile world record holder and Olympic champion at 1500 meters. And the uh, gap has closed to a mere half a yard. Ovid not getting boxed in this race where he's been accused once or twice tactically running superbly and there's a bundle there between the american that was steve scott of the united states and morsley of africa it was dave hill of canada rather onto the shoulder of the east german straub and dave hill of canada coming up we've seen this man at the white city many times he had a good win and they're coming up to the bell now had one very good win at Crystal Palace. The Walker's going back with just a little at the moment as Hill of Canada takes the lead. 2.40 at the bell. Ovet, comfortable, rushes past Walker, chases the Canadian. The Canadian who beat Brendan Foster at Crystal Palace on the one occasion last year. Ovet looking over his left shoulder to see where Walker is and watching Wessing Harger on his right. Dave Hill of Canada having a real run at this. And over it goes. Vessing Hager chases. Walker's box. Pulls himself out but has lost six yards. And there's one man's blazing speed that has torn this field asunder. Over it for Great Britain and for Europe. And he really is tearing round. And Walker stopped and pulled out. Over it looks to see who else is in the race. The wave is there. The confidence is there. And he's now chasing an incredibly fast time. Will the European record fall? He's just outside. A marvellous run, a sensational run. A British record for Stephen Ovid. Vessing Hager is second. Walker pulled out of the race with 150 metres to go and walks back limping. 
and this night, which is so full of incident in this World Cup, has seen yet more drama. 25.4 was the time that Stephen Ovitt ran the last 200 metres, and in that sort of form, even John Walker at his fittest would have found it very difficult to have withstood. Ovitt did everything right. Lessinghaga congratulating him now. Steve Ovitz's mother and father and younger brother are out here. And this is the one win that he wanted against John Walker. One hopes that John Walker is fit and well because uh, there had been a little needle in this match.